right guys gonna do a quick video for uh, DA electrolysis uh, we're working on the uh, home cooking 101 videos um, for today I have a bunch of wheat pennies just junk wheat pennies that I dug out of the ground they're a little toasty a little hard to see um, so basically what I want to do is I want to try to cook them all at one time all right I don't want to do each each wheat individually um, because you know it takes a lot of time to do that and uh, you know a lot of battery life so I'm gonna try to do them all at uh, one shot on this little platform here um, I don't know if you want to refer to it as a Faraday cage or, or whatnot but um, the, the brine solution I'm using is uh, three parts baking soda and uh, one part sea salt um, uh, I mix that into a, uh, a gallon container um, three tablespoons to one tablespoon of salt um, you can cut that mixture down. You just have to do the math on it. Um, for the unit, I'm using the uh, DAN series, uh, which to me, I've used it a few times now. I just got this uh, maybe two weeks ago, and it is fantastic. Um, it, you can run super high voltage with it at, at a low amperage, so you're running at a half of an amp. Um, you know, it varies a little less, a little more, but it's super stable. It's, 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 uh, it's a phenomenal unit to use. I've done some silver with it, and uh, and it came out great. Um, so what I plan on doing is, is I plan on throwing these six pennies here in, um, and putting them on a uh, low and slow. So I'm going to run this nine volt battery. It's not quite nine volts. I cooked with it a little before. We'll see what it turns on at, and see what the the uh, voltage indicator comes up as. Um, and then what I plan on doing is, I plan on using my nine volt, and I also plan on using a twelve volt power pack. So I'm going to run those two in series. And uh, we're going to run it high just to uh, finish off the coins. So we're going to start low and slow for the beginning. Um, allow that electricity to penetrate through the, the, uh, the core of the, the pennies. And this for me is, is an experiment. So, um, you know, I've never done multiple coins at one time uh, utilizing this method. So hopefully it'll, it'll work out real well. It'll save me some time, especially for those coins that I'd like to clean up. But they're not collector's coins for me okay i'm not going to throw them into my individual sleeves and keep them i'm going to put these away for a later later date later time so hopefully uh this will work out well what i plan on doing is i'm going to run uh low and slow like i said for a few hours uh come back we'll clean off the coins we'll give them a quick brush down and then we'll we'll hook it up to the uh to the 12 volt power pack and we'll run it in series with the 9 volt and we'll run it for a little while um with the volts nice and high so we can uh basically shock the coins um, low and slow will get to the core and stabilize and the, uh, the high voltage will, uh, will cut the rest of that garbage um, off the surface of that coin. So give me one second here guys. I'm going to uh, drop this into the water, kick it on, uh, give you a quick update with it and then uh, I'll be back with you shortly after that. Alright, coins are in, drop down, they're ready to, uh, ready to be cooked. Um, a couple things I wanted to go over real fast. We we get a lot of messages on, on the the, uh, the page about um, why my coin's not bubbling. Uh, I'm not seeing the bubbles like I see in the YouTube videos. Um, there's a few different reasons for that. Okay, especially if you're using different uh, types of coins. Okay, between copper and silver and things like that. Silver cooks a whole lot faster than copper coins do, um, and so on and so forth. Um, one of the main reasons why you're not getting the bubbles on your coin is because the alligator clip is not making complete contact with with your coin um, With that being said the debris that's on that coin causes a barrier um, And that barrier is obviously between the alligator clip and the coin So once that barrier is broken down and that alligator clip can make complete contact with that coin You're gonna start to see those bubbles form um, but until that happens, you're not going to get the bubbles um, that you expect to see. Also, that would have to do with um, your brine solution mix. How is that mixed? Um, is it mixed enough to where um, there's enough sodium content to where you're going to receive that, that electricity pass through? Um, it also has to do with um, how the coins are placed in the water um, in conjunction with your catalyst metal. Um, are they close enough? Is it too far? There's a number of different reasons, but it does not mean because you don't see the bubbles It's not working because the electrolysis process is still working um, The other reason is, you know, if you're using a lower amperage um, this end series will run at, at Right around a half of an amp and that's good for low and slow the reason being is because you want to stabilize this core this coin from the core so when you run low and slow 
the electrolysis process is taking effect and it's stabilizing that core. It's breaking through that outer layer and it's going to the inside of the coin to stabilize it. When you start running 12 volts at, you know, one or two amps, um, and if not higher, the only thing you're doing is you're shocking the outside of the coin um, that debris is falling off and you got bubbles like crazy, but you're not stabilizing the core of that coin. That's the whole point is to stabilize the coin and also to clean it up. So you want to do both at the same time. You run your amperage too high, um, uh, you know, along with a high voltage. And, and the only thing you're going to do is, is you're going to cook the outside of that coin. The debris is going to fall off. You're going to get some odd colors with it, but it's not going to be stable. So... With that being said, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop blabbing here. I'm gonna kick this on. We should be at uh, maybe six and a half volts on on this battery. Um, I've used it a few times. We're gonna run it for approximately two hours, and then I come back. Gonna show you the coins, clean out the water. Um, we're gonna brush the coins down and see what the difference is. See how they look. I'm sorry for the camera being shaky, guys. I'm not using a tripod, but uh, hopefully these coins will be. A lot cleaner and a lot more stable, obviously, than uh, than what they are now. So I can go ahead and just throw them in the safe and, and put them away for uh, for later. So give me a couple hours, um, and uh, we'll be right back with you. All right, so I came back a couple hours later, and uh, I checked the coins out. Um, I spared you the video because there was really no change. Um, there were some micro bubbles coming off of the cage and off of the coins, um, but no real breakdown. So I let the coin sit overnight uh, with a nine volt. Uh, woke up, the nine volt was down to uh, right around five volts, um, which is okay because once I shut that that unit down and uh, let that battery sit for a little while, it'll it'll re. I guess it, I should say rejuvenate itself maybe or boost back up so I uh, took the coins out gave them a nice little little warm bath um, brushed them down with a little bit of uh, toothpaste changed out the water and hooked up our power pack so now we're running a 12 volt power pack and a 9 volt together so we should see somewhere around I guess with the level of the batteries they are 16 maybe 17 volts um, still running it right around a half of an amp so we're gonna go ahead and drop this in swapped out the water in the container uh, I'm going to drop this in, we're going to kick it on, and we are going to see what the difference is going to be. So the coins are in the water, kick on the unit, 17.2, and that should drop to stabilize a little bit. Um, that's actually holding pretty good. So this is the nice thing about the N-Series, you know, you can run super high voltage, um, at, at low amperage and, and get to the core of these coins. So what I plan on doing is, as you can see, these two coins here, they were the closest coins to the carbon. And I, I think that's one of the reasons why they're clean. But also, I had an issue with one of my alligator clips. Um, inside that alligator clip, it's really nasty. It's pretty corroded. you got to remember, you have to keep them out of the water. Um, but... As the night went on, the uh, the bubbles rose from the carbon, or yep, from the carbon, and um, and started to degrade a little bit of the alligator clip. Okay, so I had to brush that out with a wire brush, and uh, hopefully we'll get some some good contact, um, which I know we are because we're we're running at a good voltage. So I'm gonna let this sit for uh, for a couple hours, and by then we should be done. I should be able to pick these coins up and all that uh that debris that's on those coins and i'm so sorry i know it's tough to see but the debris that's surrounding these coins should fall right off and uh and they should be nice and stable so be back with you soon all right mostly done i um, just wanted to give you a quick update before i go ahead and pull everything out and uh finish cleaning them up a um, couple things i had to do i had to replace that alligator clip um, that I explained earlier. Also, I had to cut the cage down. Um, a lot of the voltage was being sucked up by um, the cage. So, in, in order to cut the um, cut the electricity going through the cage, I wanted to, to trim the cage down a little bit and uh, hopefully try to increase some of that voltage going into the coins. So, um, during the cooking process, um, the two that I showed you that were in the front. I pulled them out, cleaned them up. They came out beautiful. You can uh, clearly see the dates now, 41 and 56. 
not too bad um, the uh, the debris that was on the outside fell off nice and easy uh, the leftovers are in here these four are left over you can't see it the water is um it's it's fairly dirty I just changed that a couple hours ago there are a number of micro bubbles coming off of all four of these coins so I'm thinking that that debris is pretty much soft now uh, the next step for me is to um, pull them coins out, rinse them off, give them a quick brush with some uh, some toothpaste, and hopefully they'll turn out the same way um, these two did here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kill this uh, rather shortly, and I'm going to clean them off, come back, give you an update. Also, I did change out the carbon, uh, my carbon brush. The one carbon brush that I was using, and... She's now MIA. Just give me one second. See if I can find it. Yeah, here it is. Okay. So this carbon brush that I was using, when I explained to you earlier about the bubbles that were rising up the carbon, they were going up to the top of the carbon and corroding my uh, my lead here. So I wanted to remove that out. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this one and just continue to use the straight carbon and uh, maybe try to eliminate some of that that loss in um, in electricity through through those lines that are corroded. So. Uh, another thing that I did every couple hours, I came back through when I noticed that my voltage was dropping and I would just agitate the water. So you can see we're at 15.6. I just did this about 10 minutes ago. So it may not, uh, it may not boost that much, but you go in, you agitate the water slightly. And what happens is that brine mixture starts mixing back up. And most of the time you'll see that your voltage indicator will, will go higher. There it goes. It's going up a little bit there. Um, over time but like I said I just did this 15 minutes ago so it may not increase that much but if you do that every now and again if you're doing a long soak um, you know maybe a day or two you'll notice that that your voltage will drop just go ahead and agitate that a little bit and when you agitate it your voltage should shoot right back up so all right I'm going to uh, pull these out shortly clean them up and I'll give you the results thanks guys all right, we're all done now, and I'm extremely happy with uh, with the results that we got. So I showed you earlier, there's the uh, the 41 and the 56. Um, obviously, these coins we couldn't get dates off of, and they were pretty heavily corroded. Um, right there is an unknown date, and the pitting on there is still pretty bad. But you can see at the top where it still has some debris on there. That could cook for a little while longer. Um, I'm not going to do that because that coin is roached out. This coin is also roached out. You can see that that one has debris on it as well. I'm going to cook that one longer because I want to see that that come off of there. So I'm going to do that singly and uh, see how that turns out. But look at how beautiful that 34 came out. You couldn't even see that date earlier. And that to me is absolutely amazing. I mean, that is a beautiful coin right there. And that's all due to the uh, electrolysis with the N-Series. Um, we have another 17 there. Or we have a 17 there. And that one came out pretty good. So that's pretty much the experiment that I ran, um, cooking them six coins with that cage, um, using the N series, starting with low voltage, moving to high voltage, and I'm, I'm really satisfied with that. I think I'm going to do this again um, just for my own purposes, except this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a cage and I'm going to sandwich the cage. So the cage is going to run front and rear, and I'm going to stand it up in the water so that the front side of the coins are going to be facing the carbon. So maybe we'll get more of a direct transfer. It's just something that I'm running experimental purposes, and if I if I get a chance, I'll do a video and I'll post it up on the um, electrolysis page. But if you guys have any questions, post it up on the page. Go ahead and PM me, uh, Frank Davey, if you like. I'll answer it to the best of my ability. I'm not a pro at this. I'm just a you know a, a novice. I enjoy doing this. Uh, I mean, I think it's amazing watching these coins transfer from a coin that was dug out of the ground to to something that can be you know looked at and praised. So, I mean, that right there is the prime example. If that was a key day coin, I, I would be extremely happy with that. But uh, that's going to be it, guys. Um, like I said, any questions, post them up. We'll get them answered as best as we can. If I can't answer them, I know DA Frank can answer them. Um, Gene Hogan, there's a couple guys on there that are really good with electrolysis, way better than I am. Um, like I said, I'm a novice, and I'm just here to try to try to help people out. You know, if it wasn't for uh, Frank and Gene helping me out in the beginning, um, I, I would be lost too. So, all right, guys, happy cooking, and uh, get out there and detect America.